Ben, first game of the season as, as captain, how do you feel going into it? Um, positive, you know, the, the end of season we had last year definitely um, is part of, you know, the, the building block for that. Pre-season's not been the greatest results-wise, but, you know, I feel like we uh, we look fit and uh, feel fit. So as long as we take that into the game, then, you know, Saturday's game is going to be a lot of mental fitness, I think, because of the, the whole situation. So if we can take that into the game, then... Um, That'd be massive, really. And obviously, the emotion that goes with it for Leighton Orient, having lost their manager, Justin Edinburgh, over the summer. Um, presumably, you know plenty of people in the game who knew him, because yeah. obviously you were at Newport after he was. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm, I'm, you know, being at Newport after he was uh, was manager, and um, the lads only ever had a good thing to say about him, you know? His character, the way, the way that he made the, the players want to play for him was, was definitely one of the things that stood out for me and you know um, even speaking to people after his uh, his passing um, that you know you see what people write about him and say about him you, you don't get that unless you're you're a, you're a good man so um, yeah I mean it must be must have been tough for them to to take you know, at least he, he left a, a great mark on that club but I suppose your task is to go there and be professional and remember that there's the three points on offer. Absolutely, that, that's that's the key, you know, the, the start of the game. When the fixtures came out, I actually said, you know, that I think that's probably the toughest toughest away game we could have we could have asked for and throughout the whole fixtures really, because because of the whole emotion, you know, you think it'd probably be a sell out and and it will be an emotional time, but you've got to, once that whistle starts, once that whistle's blown, sorry, you've got to uh you know, forget about that and, and you're all fighting for three points at the end of the day. And as you said, pre-season wasn't great, but pre-seasons don't have to be great, do they, for good seasons? So I suppose there's obviously a difference when it kicks in and it's up to the experienced players like you to remind some of the younger ones of that. Definitely. I mean, it's not been great results-wise, but in terms of, you know, getting the, the lads playing together and, and fitness, you know, it has been. So, um, you know, you look at, People are talking about Real Madrid now, and and then they they haven't won a game or something in pre-season, and people are you know already writing them off, and and it's just it's bonkers really because, you know when you when you're fighting for three points and on a Saturday rather than playing a friendly and you're chopping and changing players, I think it's 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 much more um, different to, you know the the contrast is massive so. Um, you know, all we can do really is is prepare right and, and make sure we're ready for it. And the spirit in the squad. There's some experienced pl uh, players, likes of Luke Varney, who you know he's, he's still got that enthusiasm of a yeah. kid. How much does that just sort of help? Yeah, no, I mean it's a great character. We've got a lot of good characters in the in the team. We we lost a few in the summer as well, but we've also gained some. So, you know, it's it's all about integrating everyone right. What's that sound? Oh, he's in there. <laughs> Sorry about that. You didn't know about that then? No? I was under strict instructions not to tell you they were in it. <laughs> And he told you to mention his name, didn't no, he? No, he didn't. But I, th I thought you could drop him in it. Yeah. Anyway, um, I mean, people like that, it just <laughs> shows you that footballers are all big kids, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. Um, I speak to my missus about it after training some days. She said, it's like going to school, isn't it? Because we're just constantly messing about. But that's how it is. And, and you, the team spirit's got to be like that off the pitch. You know, As soon as you start training, it's very, very serious. So you've got the one, one extreme to the other, really. What can the aim be for Cheltenham this season? Because obviously you look at the last 30 games of last season and you'll obviously hope that that's the true Cheltenham town. Yeah, um, we haven't really talked about aims and goals and, and whatnot. Uh, I think that's down to the gaffer to, to kind of set aside. But ultimately the aim is to win as many games as you can. And, um, you know, you've got to try and make sure you're always within touching distance of the right side of the table and... and if you can be within a couple of games of the playoffs, you know, then then that's that's great. Um, you know, you don't want to be looking behind; you always want to be looking forwards.